about four and a half inches each. <laughs> anyway, girls, I was just wondering if you fancied a bottle of champagne, you know, on the house, of course. Why, do you work here? Work here. <laughs> That's precious. Nah, I own the place. <laughs> oh, slow down there, Cap. You couldn't do us a favour, could you? A couple of Cokes for the girls over here. Better make that Diet Coke. Jimmy, fuck off. Oh, awkward. That's what happens when you give the staff the staff. You wish. <laughs> What she's talking about, it's like that. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, kid? Um, this tune is wicked, man. Big fish. It, it... <laughs> Jimmy, the dishes are gonna wash themselves, mate, aren't they? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> You're not ability, kid. You're disgusting, offensive, and really annoying. And everybody wants you gone. God, you make it sound like they've signed a petition or something. 666 signatures. What? I don't recognise any of these names, though. Well, the dancers used to be real names, didn't they? Yeah, I mean, hence the lack of American states and deserts. And there's also that unfortunate rumour that you've been trying to fuck my wife. Whoa, whoa, boss, slow down. I've got too much respect for you for that. Also, you know me, I only go for proper fucking dick shrinkers that... <laughs> I'm gonna fuck you. Ah! Oh, easy, boss, say it, don't spray it. What? I want the news, not the weather. Well, fine. Oi, <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? God, if I wanted my face to be that way, I'd get your wife to seal it. Oh, 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 yeah, oh, it's all kicking oh, off. Oh, sweetheart, you still want that bank, huh? Sorry about all this. It's been crazy tonight. Some moron started a fight at Club Moist. I blame the full moon. 
No, you are in cell. Judge will see you on Monday. Oh, Monday? You'll be, um, spending the weekend at Stokesville. What's that, like an Airbnb? If you'd be so kind to follow the officer, he'll, uh, assist you with your transfer. But what, why, why am I being transferred? I'm full. Design a label. <laughs> do they do it for men? <laughs> Whoa, easy there, big fella. What are you in for? I had an orgy in a morgue. Uh, an orgy? <laughs> <laughs> what about you, son? Don't know. Which one of you rascals is for Crampton? Me. And where to put in you, son? Stokesville. Jesus Christ. Jesus has nothing to do with that place. James Ragsdale, this is Warden Renfield. You may call her Miss Renfield, or Sir. Did you say Sir? Miss Renfield doesn't care who you are or what you've done, but under her roof, you will consider her your mother. Except she will not wipe your ass, and unlike your mother, she doesn't suck sailors off for beer money. She does it for free? <laughs> Welcome to Stokesville, bitch. <coughs> Throw him into number 13. Number 13? That's the cell with you know who. He won't survive the night. <laughs> Why wouldn't I survive the night? Why don't I like him? What's wrong with the fella? Why don't I like him? Who chat away. box is he? He's just not ready. I'm only here for the weekend. Wait, this made a terrible mistake. How did you sustain this injury, Bob? Got bit. Someone bit you? Who? Hmm. Uh, I forget. What are amongst thieves, eh? Hmm. Would you tell me for a lollipop? Dr. Tommy used to save me the green ones. There's no green ones no more. No, there isn't, is there? Say, Bob, did... did Dr. Wallace... It, sorry, Dr. Tommy, did he see this? Dr. Tommy was worried about it. No one else was. He was a good man. Yes. Yes, he was. Say, Bob, have you been experiencing any other symptoms? You know, like fever, aching joints, shortness of breath, headaches or dizzy spells? Yes. Which ones? All of them. 
Okay, I'm going to need to check your heartbeat. Don't feel so good. Oh! <laughs> Doctor Make Peace, Governor Payne requests your presence. terrible mistake. Come on, guys. This is getting serious now. I need to speak to the boss. The governor, it was that fellow up in the window, wasn't it? I know the score. I've seen Shawshank. Shaving. Move along. What was he shaving with a fucking axe? Jimmy, I'm your new cellmate. I was just talking to the guys outside about you. They said you was well all right. They're alive. Governor is ready. I see you didn't get the memo in regard to jewellery in the workplace. Excuse me? Stay back, right? I know karate. Okay? I once broke man's spine in half. After I remove it. Through his anus. Yeah? Um, well, do you know Matt Flynn? From the Dandridge estate? Um, he kissed my girlfriend in year 11, so I nutted him. Well, I say I nutted him. It was more like a Chinese burn, but everyone saw it. I kill over 20 men. With my bare... Your bare hands, yeah? I've heard it all before, comrade. No. With my bare. Oh, you, you've actually got a bear? Yes. Michkov. In Magadan, every boy own bear. Well, that's actually pretty cool. You win. And listen, all that stuff I was saying back then about Chinese burns, I didn't do it. I was just trying to act hard. I can tell. You do not look like man capable of causing pain. In Russia, we call you pizda. Huh? You are a little man-child, lost, searching for the mama's, how do you say? Bangers, um, top bollocks, um, uh, baby feeders, fun bags. 
breasts. Breasts! Yes! You are searching for the mama's breast to suck on. It's uncanny. Excuse me? Oh, could I interest you in a nightcap? A Bloody Mary, perhaps? Um, it, is this a test? Well, why do you ask that, Dr. Makepeace? Well, Governor, with the utmost respect, this is my very first post as GP. Consuming an alcoholic beverage would be a Hippocratic violation. <sighs> She's new. Well, Neanderthals and nitwits associate this delightful potation with Queen Mary the First. She delighted in the bloody results of pitting Protestants against Catholics. I mean, she herself was a Catholic, as uh, you are, I see. Of course, this is all bullshit. Now, to discover the bona fide birthplace of this thirst quencher's nom de plume, we must step into the smoky saloons of 1900 Chicago, namely the Bucket of Blood Saloon. And watering hole for heavily inebriated drinkers who ended up in violent barroom brawls bleeding all over that saloon bar floor. And it was the unenviable task of some unfortunate waitress to mop up those blood-soaked floorboards. Her name was Mary, of course. And all Arnold Palmer had to do was win the US Open. <laughs> oh, 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 yes, very, 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 very good, Dr. Makepeace. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, that is all. It is time for you to return to your duties. I think, I think maybe I should examine you, sir. That's, that's quite all right, child. You just concentrate on keeping the prisoners fit and healthy. At my age, a man just yearns for two things, uh, love in his heart and blood in his veins, and regrettably, I have neither. <laughs> <laughs> It was nice to finally meet you, Governor Payne. I know what is best for the Governor. You should be advised to observe your own boundaries when it comes to the Florence Nightingale routine. Your predecessor failed to get that into his thick egghead, and that's why we let him go. And now you're in his lab coat, hand me down. I thought he went missing. Oh, did you know Dr. Wallace? No. Never heard of him. Oh, and by the way, your closet? It's glowing.
just what the doctor ordered. So, condom just fell off? Yeah, before I could seal the deal. Anyway, cut long story short, she went into school, she told everyone, so I got the nickname Spaghetti Dick. I see. Anyway, enough about me. What are you doing here? I was big shot in Russian Mafia. Until one day, my own brother, Rusev, put contract out on me. I killed him with my bear. What, Mishkov? No. My bare hands. Why do you always interrupt? What's that? It's time to eat. What, at midnight? Governor says it's better for digestion. <sighs> Must be the Atkins diet. I do not know this Atkins fellow, but I think if you continue with the funny mouth, perhaps you will end up as dessert. Oh, fucking hell, leave it out. Come on, you look after me, wouldn't you? I just told you my story about the spaghetti dick. We're basically brothers. I look after only one man, Victor. Who's that? Me. Oh. <sighs> OK. Stand up. Now, first rule of surviving prison is to find biggest, strongest man you can and punch him in the face. Show everyone you have no fear. I admire enthusiasm, but perhaps wait until you have an audience. Okay. I'm only here for the weekend, don't I? <laughs> Keep telling yourself that. Even though I know you're a little pussy boy who's scared of one shadow and your pubic hairs are longer than your pee-pee. Yeah, all right, get on with it. Nobody else knows this. And we must keep it that way. So from now on, you must behave exactly like you. I ain't gonna be able to do that Sputnik accent. If somebody stares at you, you must never be forced to look away. Easy. Bob. I heard this thinning. <sighs> Who are those guys over there? What are they looking at? Sausage. You want a bit of me sausage? Stop. Stay away from these men. They stock the showers. They're Nazis. Of course they're nasty. We're in prison. No. They're Nazis. What? Can't be Nazis. World War II was over about 30 years ago. Woo! You can have some if you want. Shit. <sighs> okay. You're a 
remember what we talked about in cell. Must be getting No. Showing strength of bear. Well, you need to do this. And you need to do this now. as you can, as many times as you can. Okay. I'll do it. Boy, whose apple is that? What? Oh, that's mine. No. I said, whose apple is that, bruv? You know, I heard you, yeah. And I said, it's mine. Why? Oh, <laughs> sorry. Would you like it? Go on, have it. And actually, come on. Listen, if you want anything, I mean absolutely anything, I'm the man, yeah? The name's Shifty. Oh, right, Shifty, yeah, mate. me. Yeah, listen, you see the screws over there? They think they know the lay of the land. But old Shifty knows every nook and cranny. What's a cranny? Got no idea. Anyway. Welcome to Stokesville. All right, mate. Lovely to meet Cheers. you. Cheers. Bye. Nice guy. Oh, fuck it. Ow! <sighs> Sorry, Shifty, mate. Can we get some frozen peas over here? What are you doing? Wait, oh, listen, it's my first day. What, you thought you'd look hard? Yeah. It didn't work for me either. Oh, sorry. Ah, oh, shit. Ah! Oh, there, big fella. Got something in your ear there. I'll get it for you. <laughs> fuck! Fuck! Oh, sorry now, fella. Ah! I've not seen it gleam like this in an age. But why now? It's a sign. It's divining. It's saying that the vessel of utmost purity has finally arrived. The synergy of the fairest one being within our grasp while the hunter's moon looms overhead is the rarest of opportunities we cannot afford to squander. We must make preparations. Immortality is within our grasp. Yes, yes. Yes, of course, yes. We must. <laughs> Sir, you grow weak. I shall notify the help and fetch a sorbet. No, no, no. We, we are running low. But, but, sir, don't you get it? After tonight, it does not matter. Yes, yes. The mating ceremony must be implemented in great haste. Most are. What's going on? Sit down. What? what? Sit down. Sit down. All right. Keep it down. Take a chill pill. What is it? A sorbet. Sorbet? It doesn't happen often. But once in a blue moon, the governor invites one of us up to his quarters for the sorbet. Oh, that actually sounds quite lovely. Shut up. You. Oh, I never win anything. Get up. No. 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 Wait, wait up. You think that's all the go? I'll go. He's got plenty of time. I'm only here for the weekend. What? Oh, yeah, you. Shut it. Wait, what? Oh. Oh.
Jimmy. 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 For God's sake, Jimmy, what have I got to do to get away from you? <sighs> sultry confinement is not that sultry. <sighs> Strange things are afoot in Stokesville prison. I need to be afraid, lads. He's just a big, rusky teddy bear. Not him. Him. If you boys like strange, then you've come to the right. <laughs> ah, I didn't bang a hooker. Our first holidays a couple off to Spain with the gang. I was ready to give myself to you, and only you. Then you disappear with the lads and go and catch gonorrhea from... She wasn't a prostitute. Her name was Ping Pong Pat. I hardly think she was a quantity surveyor. She was an entertainer. Her aim was a little bit off, but the velocity of them things flying out was... It was a physical marvel. I mean, you're a doctor. If you'd seen it, you, uh, you would have appreciated it. No, I'm not doing this. Not again. This was a past life, and I buried this years ago. And now this... This is very important to me, and I'm not going to let you fuck it up. How am I going to mess it up? I'm only here for the weekend. Axel, this is Strokesville Prison. Nobody is here for the weekend. Who are you? What matters is what I know, not who I am. Reeves! Shut up in there! Uh, sir, my name is Reeves. And you are... Well, we don't want to tell you that now. Yeah. Didn't want to tell us yours, did you? Oi! It goes for the rest of you, Victor, Shifty, Craig, and Alex. How long have you been here? A long time, my friend. A very long time. Fortunately. Fortunately? <laughs> it's horrible down here. It's horrible, but safe. Uh, much like Condor. This prison, it's not like other houses of correction. You may not have noticed, but there is something lurking within the foundations of this mold-ridden monolith. What mean lurking? I have observed many disturbing aberrations within these rotting walls. Yeah, like nobody. But nobody ever returns from the Salt Bay. And old man Gary. Yeah, he's been here 52 years. Says the governor was here before him. Reckons he's not aged a day. Oh. Yes, well, I, uh, I hadn't noticed those things. But very good, well done. Come on, you've got to believe me on that at least. I'm telling the truth. <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy, you don't have to convince me you got beaten up in a strip club for chatting up a married woman instead of doing the dishes. That's trademark you. That's not what's causing me to wear my shoes right now. Well, then what is? I can't say. But I'm going to get you out. I can't let you jeopardise this. Plus, someone like you shouldn't be in here for your own safety. Katie, what is going on? You may be an arsehole, but you don't deserve to die. You deserve the shit kicked out of you, but by the looks of things, that's been well taken care of. Come on. Oh, you love me, really? No, Rexdale. I really don't.
Hello? Governor Payne? Taste the blood of the witch with the sun on our flesh. How ironic that the brightest day will be the world's darkest. Dr. Katie. Why? Why are you dressed like that? Uh, uh, I don't know. Okay. Okay, we, we need to get out of here. Okay? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. He, he said that something was wrong, that, that something wasn't right, but I never thought... I mean, who would it? Oh, Jesus. Poor Tom. Oh, fucking Tom runs down. We need to get out of here. We need to get out of here right now. What? Who the fuck is your friend? Don't worry, it's only Bob. <sighs> <sighs> Muscle and brawn will not stop these creatures that dwell in the shadows forever festering on the peripheral, waiting to strike. So how are we going to stop? There is 
only one way. That was a, that was a... You can say it. That was a fucking zombie. Close. The, an Einstein, wasn't it? I mean, a fucking Frankenstein. Dracula. Knew it. That was a fucking Dracula. We've got to tell your boss man about this. <laughs> I think that would be an extraordinarily bad idea. Why, is he a Frankenstein as well? I didn't just take this job for the classy company and cheery atmosphere. This office belonged to a friend, Dr Tom... Well, if he was convinced something wasn't right with this place. Prisoners dropping like flies. Guards working all hours with no signs of fatigue. <laughs> Dr. Wallace was collecting hard evidence. And then, lo and behold, he went missing. All right. OK, I get it. But let me ask you one thing. Was you banging him? For God's sakes, Ragsdale. He was a friend and a mentor. No wonder he was paranoid if he was fucking mental. What? No, a mentor. A mentor? Isn't that a breath mint? Jesus Christ. Play for the front door? No. Wait, can you get me in the hole? Do you ever stop? No, I mean solitary confinement. Oh, sorry, why? Because the guards reckon they know the lay of the land, right? But I've got a friend down there, and he knows every nook and cranny. What's a cranny? Fuck knows. Albert, summon Doc to make peace into the governor's office ASAP. In fact, get our newest recruit to do it. I think that would be the perfect surprise, don't you? Albert? Uh, yeah, about that. Spaghetti dick! Is that him? Spaghetti, Spaghetti dick! I've no idea what that means. Guys, listen. Shit is getting real. It's going down and it's hitting the fan. The big three. Fuck. This is my ex-girlfriend, Katie. Now, I know what you're thinking. What's a nine out of ten hottie doing wearing a set of Harry Potters? Well, it turns out she's super intelligent. Like she's even got one of them skeletons in her office and it ain't even Halloween. Anyway, you've got to listen to her because she reckons we've got a serious case of the Draculas. Why is he covered in blood? Huh. You can listen to Dr. Barbie because she poured the bolognese on your spaghetti. But we have everything in hand, my friend. Mr. Reeves, he is all-seeing. Only he can stop prison menace. Yeah, he's got it all worked out, Jimbo. Mr. Reeves, is this true? Yes, my dear. These manifested nightmares are at every turn. They are under the bunk. They are in the bathroom sink. They are behind the curtains. At first, they were evasive, elusive, but now I have learned to collect them, to imprison them, to store them. <laughs> yes, the captive has become the captor. Fascinating, but how? <laughs> With this magic device. <laughs> oh, I've got to catch them all. Fuck, it's Pokemon. Nice one. He's nuts. Well done, Volker Bollocks. Wait. No. He is man of God. Look. He has cross. What? This? Oh, no, no. This is soap on a rope. Yes. was a Christmas present. <laughs> Billiard. You just keep looking. You'll find something. Find the doctor. Do not harm her much. Yes, Miss Wanfield. Oh, and Albert, the inmates. Turn the strong and feed on the weak. It's time to clean house.
was so fucking fucked! Oh, fuck! Mr. Reeves, you've saved the day. They're not Pikachu, Katie. We can call for help. Bingo. something up your sleeve, Shifty. Well, there was a place where I used to hide my contraband. I always wondered why the guards never wanted to go in there. Right. Now I know why. Yeah, where is it? The chapel. Oh, my God. If these things are vampires, then they cannot set foot on consecrated ground. Once inside, we will be untouchable. This place is in B block, another side of compound, directly beneath the office of governor. We'll be dead before we get there. Also. I hear this sector is frequented by Greninja and Mandibals. What if I could get my hands on a gun? I am listening. Rainfield's office. Where is it? The next level. Oh, fuck. You're fucked. We're so fucking fucked. But it's not good, but it's worth a try. Yeah, the quickest route is via the stairs in the E-wing, but it's definitely going to be guarded. So we're going to have to climb down the disused chute, which leads to the ventilation unit on the B block. Now, once in the vent, we are going to have to crawl for 150 feet through the piping. Beware of the fan, because if that baby fires up, we are mince meat. Once we've got out of the piping, we're going to have to bypass two alarm doors and an attacking dog. We've gone through all of that. We're in Rainfield's office. Well, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. <laughs> yes. No problem whatsoever. Ah, oh, nice one, Shifty. Uh, you do realise that guns don't kill vampires, right? Bagstar, your file's here. That's impossible. I've only just got here. Plus, I'm only here for the weekend, aren't I? Ah, uh, yeah. Good luck with that. Well, it's here, clear as day, and all your details are present except for one, your next of kin. Oh, yeah, that's because I ain't got one. You never told me that. It's nothing to tell. I did not know of this. A thousand apologies for speaking of your mama's, how did you say, bangers? Victor, mate, don't worry about it, all right? And I'm sorry about calling you vodka bollocks. So? You're telling me you have ended up imprisoned from hell, in middle of nowhere, surrounded by never-ending wasteland, and you find ex-lover? I could be shipwrecked on a desert island, a million miles from anyone, and I'd probably bump into some girl I've had a go on. <laughs> he knows. Uh, uh, actually, no. I, I, I bat for the other side. Bat? Other side? Here's what I'm <laughs> Victor! I'm gay. Oh. Oh, nice. Oi, so you must be like a kid in a candy store in here, eh? 
No, not really. I mean, I don't really find rapists, murderers and child molesters attractive. Vicky, <laughs> look, what are you doing here anyway? You just don't seem the type. I raised funds for Save the Hedgehogs and I kept them. What, the funds? No, the hedgehogs. Ha. Oh. So Shifty's a prime example in this place. The punishment does not fit the crime. And Jimmy, you're not the only one here. No one has an ex of kin. No one. My parents, they abandoned me when I came out. My brother is a drug dealing arsonist. He only has sex with ladies, so, you know, he's all right. Mine are back in homeland. Here, Victor is alone. And it's the same for all inmates dating back to the year dot. And you're all AB negative. Every single prisoner's blood type here is AB negative. <sighs> it's coincidence. It's the rarest blood type there is. And probably the tastiest. You're all AB negative, and you're all loners. <laughs> no one will notice you're gone. Bit harsh. Jesus, they're covering their tracks. This place isn't a prison. It's a larder. And you, you're not prisoners. What are they? Your breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Get in. Most important meal of the day. Oh, oh, fuck. Fuck. Let them choke. Right. This isn't ideal, but if everyone just remains calm, then I'm sure there's somebody here who can help me. Help me! Help me! Somebody help! Shut up! Somebody help me! There's vampires in your prison! Shut him up! Please help me!
tread lightly, for it is here that I once saw Cherizard stroking the tail of Mewtwo. Dr. Mike, please. I think this has been safer with you. Oh, shit. Trust me, you've been in the group. You fucking knew me to. They said they wanted me to shoot her. Yes. Through here, into the boiler room. Then be blocked. Shifty, please help me. Shifty, I'm so itchy. Shifty, please calm me down. Okay, please, Shifty, please.
Nigella. Here's dessert. No! We should go, come on! What do they want with you? What are you talking about, Ragsdale? Don't get me wrong, right? I'd still give you one, but... Nah, what I meant is they're probably interested in you on uh, intellectual level, because you stimulate them intellectually and that. Seems Governor Payne has pervy plans for me. He thinks he'll gain eternal benefits if I was to, well, give him one. Look, what are we going to do if they get between us and the constipated land? They won't. Listen, if we get through this, oi, I really want to sort this out. Like, I'll do anything. All I want you to do right now is kill vampires. You know how to do that, right? You either fuck them up in the head or skewer their heart. <sighs> Just like you did to me. Governor Payne, the vessel of purity shall be within your grasp imminently. Excellent. I must prepare for her arrival. Oh, damn it! Come on, let me help you. No, I've got it. Come on, let me help. Jimmy, no. But babe, you've hurt your hands. Get off me! And don't bathe me. You need to straighten your head. On the other side of this door is a straight dash of B block. Okay? Shifty better be waiting for us. All right. Look, it's been good fun working with you. Not to make peace. See you on the other side, Jimmy. Kaye! This way! This way! This way! Go!
Katie, she's downstairs. She's in the chapel, right? Right? I, I, I sold out Katie. I sold out poor Katie. What? <laughs> I couldn't help it. If the governor, I keep hearing him in my head, in my head. <laughs> you, you got to stop him, Jimbo. He's going to hurt her. And if he does, <laughs> they'll be on Unstoppable. We'll be unstoppable. Oh, God. You've got to kill me. You've got to kill me. You've got to kill me before no. it's too late. No, no, no. Shifty, listen, mate. You're not evil. You're shifty. I want to rip off your face and wipe it on my blood so dark. Okay, that's pretty fucking evil. Wait. I'm sorry, mate. I'm sorry. Wait. Okay. Wait. Oh, my God. I held on to this for you. Oh, no. For you. Oh, I can't do it, mate. I'm sorry. I can't do it, mate. I can't, I can't do it. Sorry, mate. Will you be have a long hard think while I scoop out Katie's head and press in the sky? Ah! <laughs> oh, the smoke. Oh, it's made me eyes water. Oh. <laughs> Speck! The fairest one has come to me on the hunter's moon. This is a gift from the darkest depths. I must consummate my bond with this unique bounty. Miss Renfield, fetch the stone. You're a fucking psycho. Swenfield, honey, the bitch has claws. What you've been doing is revolting and sadistic. Oh, think of it as a simple solution to 
Prison overcrowding. That is all inevitable. Dark shall marry with light. Sir, the mating ritual will commence. You what? As the stones glimmer, transgresses in the majestic crimson hue of the hunter's moon. This indicates the fairest one's true purity. Purity? <laughs> Sorry to be a party pooper, you fucking lunatics. But I'm no virgin. I went to medical school. Oh, yes. Oh, we'll see about that, child. Doesn't make sense. This should be red. This should be red. Doesn't make sense. Ha! <laughs> Got it! <laughs> We have, we have the purest vessel. What? What does that mean? <laughs> Jimmy, you're, you're a virgin. What? Me? A virgin? <laughs> Don't be stupid. I've loads of times. The stone never lies. You, Jimmy Ragsdale, you are the purest. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Jimmy Ragsdale, a virgin. My word. <laughs> oh, don't tell anyone. What about Spain and Ping Pong Pat and, and the gonorrhea? Ping Pong Ball hit me in the eye. That's how I got the gonorrhea. But I didn't have the guts to tell the lad, you know, I was embarrassed. So I said that I... <sighs> Jimmy. <laughs> Sir. So we have located the fairest one. We have dreamed about this for an age. Embrace your exquisite prize and deflower it. It's ludicrous. He looks nothing like my beloved. So? That's got nothing to do with anything. Okay, she looks like your old floor scrubber from Chicago. People look like people. I get Dwayne Johnson mixed up with The Rock. Your plans change, Warden. What happened to it is inevitable. It is my calling and mandatory. Please, don't raise your voice I to me. I will do as I wish you, coward. I will not remain a prisoner in my prison for another dawn. I have longed, longed for this. So keep on longing. There will be more virgins. No, there won't. Have you seen the internet? It is the privilege and the prerogative of the head vampire. Good point.
Jimmy? Victor goes alone now. Who knows? Maybe I make it home and see my Michiko. Is that his son? No. That's his bear. Hey, Victor! <laughs> you know you said that you had no family? What do you have now, mate? Thank you, my friend. Oh, and by the way, I did not kill 20 men. In Homeland, I'm investment banker. <laughs> Victor! Did you get bit? I'm about to find out. Do you want to pop me apple? I'd rather pop your cherry. <laughs> 